you just direct us. I am going to spin you. I'm Chris McQuinn. I'm Graham Smith. And we're going to be looking at the demo for our next game, Severed. All right, let's start this up. All right, so we're watching Chris McQuinn play Severed here. Probably poorly. So the demo starts off, you're, uh, you're in the desert. Uh, we don't really tell the player anything about the story or what's happened, but you can see Chris just found uh, an abandoned house that's on fire. Would you say this is my house, Graham? An abandoned house. <laughs> and he just turned and looked in a mirror and it triggered a flashback. That was an intense experience. Oh, oh Graham, there is something behind me. So now there's a strange figure behind him. That ain't cool. So Chris just got a sword from this mysterious creature. Uh, now he has the ability to swipe on the touchscreen to attack uh, enemies. Yeah, we're going to be launching exclusively on Vita. But I just got the sword, although I don't really know a whole lot about it, so I'm going to need me a little, a little training. So yeah, t tapping on the fruit in the backyard of the house triggered another, another memory for him. And this, this memory is serving as our tutorial how to fight in the game. So the first thing we're showing is how to do a basic attack. You uh, just swipe on the center of an enemy. And then to parry attacks, uh, you swipe against the enemy's attack. Those are two definite influences. Mist okay. meets Infinity Blade is good. Um, but there's a, there's a lot of elements from like Mega Man and Legend of Zelda and uh, a lot of other games, Final Fantasy. Um, What's the Mega Man one? Well, so Mega Man, uh, just, after this, just after he finishes this battle, uh, he's going to go into the forest. And in the forest, you'll be able to take multiple paths. Uh, and each path will lead, lead to a different boss, and killing different bosses will give you different powers, very much like Mega Man. So, so you can choose the order to kill the bosses in the order to get your powers in. And certain powers will be useful in other dungeons, so uh, different people doing things in different orders will just have completely different experiences. Awesome. Yeah. So here's the first real enemy that Chris is fighting. Uh, yeah, and you can see when the enemy goes for an attack. I have the ability to parry, and they go into this vulnerable state. And at the bottom of the screen, it shows you uh, the enemy's health and the timer when the enemy's going to attack. Now we have a little cutscene where you see an arm scampering away. And you might have noticed that the girl doesn't have an arm. Uh, your, your character doesn't have an arm, so that arm might come back later. <laughs> if there's another enemy that he'll grow if he's left unattended. Um, but if you hit him, he'll shrink down, and then his weak point is his eyeball. So kind of like Infinity Blade, but each, each enemy that you fight has different strategy to, fight, to, uh, to kill. There's a little map in the upper right there. Yeah, so you'll, the player will be able to explore around, and uh, the mini-map will help guide you like, to places you haven't been before. So this is the last tutorial of the demo. Uh, there's, a, there's a, another meter underneath your health, it's a sword, and as you successfully hit enemies, uh, the sword charge builds up, and when, it's, when it flashes, uh, when it's full and it flashes, you can tap the enemy to put them into sever mode, and you, then you can cut off their arms uh, or different parts of their bodies. Uh, and then you can go into the upgrade screen, and uh, so you actually have enough stuff now to, to upgrade your sever time. So this will just give you more time to cut up the enemies. I really did want to save it for health, but Let's see if we can get enough more pieces here so I can upgrade my uh, damage. So yeah, if if an enemy hits you or if an enemy blocks you, your sword charge will go down. But if you fight flawlessly, your sword charge will go up, and then you can sever them. I like to collect me those arms. So now, this will be the first time that he's had to fight more than one enemy at a time. Which is another difference from Infinity Blade. Uh, so you can see how different combinations of enemies will give you really different uh, experiences. How big is your team? 
12 people. Uh, but we're working on a lot of different things at the same time. So, so besides Severed, most of the team is working on Severed. Uh, we're working on adding four-player support to uh, Guacamelee, which we're also showing at PlayStation Experience. Uh, and we have a couple of people working on a prototype for our game that's going to come after Severed. So, okay. nice. All right, well, I got another door here, which I don't have a key for, so you got to do a little exploring. We did a lot of prototyping of different exploration methods at the beginning of the project. Uh, we tried we tried doing like full 3D. Uh, but we, finally, we settled on this this kind of like it's kind of in between 3D and 2D. Like it's a it's a very 2D world with like node based navigation, uh, but each node is kind of 3D. Uh, so, what are the strategies of the different enemies there? So. So now he's fighting two enemies. One is a mushroom that he has to keep small or it will attack him. And the other one is a, 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 he's like a shielded guy that will open up uh, at a certain frequency. So you got to try and hit him three times before he attacks you to close him back up. Okay. And Chris managed to cut the eyeball out of the mushroom enemy. Yeah. And you can do another upgrade now. There you go. No, nope. I want I one, one more eyeball to do that eyeball. damage. Got to find me an eyeball. Pretty classic story. Now this guy's a little bit different as well. He uh, he'll grab pieces from the outside ring and try and hit you with them. And if you can block him, then you can hit through the gap into his eye. Ram, is, is he gonna drop me an eyeball? He's gonna drop you arms. No, I don't need arms, buddy. I need eyeballs right now. Okay. There we go. Oh. There's a key in this room. There we go. That's what I wanted. That's why I was here. All right. So the door. We we're also experimenting with uh, map generation and stuff, but. Uh, uh, it's a hard problem to do well, so we found that like designing the maps, it, it works better. So it's a better experience. Yeah. I think you missed your chance to get the eye, Chris. Ah, uh, this is not good. Well, I got me a lot more arms. If you need arms, a whole bucket of arms. I need his eyeballs. I'm gonna upgrade my health since I can. So you guys enjoying the Vita? Developing on the Vita? What's that like? We love working on the Vita. Uh, yeah, so we, we launched uh, Mutant Blob's Attack as a launch title for the Vita, and it did really well, and so then Guacamelee, which also did really well on the Vita. So now, we love the Vita, and I, I have a Vita. I play my Vita every day. Uh, there's so many great games, so oh, yeah. For yeah. Sure. I feel like it still has a lot of room to grow as a development platform, a lot of power left to tap into and everything. Uh, yeah, definitely. Like, like every every platform is kind of like that. Uh, we 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 squeezed a lot out of it on uh, Guacamelee, and I think we've done even further with Severed. Like, okay. Uh, yeah. Just the amount of animation involved, or what exactly? Yeah, like, th so this is much more th much more three D now, and we there's a lot of layers of art happening and effects are happening and. Uh, We have a lot of enemies on screen at a time. Uh, so the, this boss now just uh, used its power against Chris. It's like a blind spell. Graham, would you say he's made of crows? Yes. His official name is Crow Golem. Which I think was a joke when we first thought of it. You but now it's, now it's just stuck. Basically, we asked ourselves, what has a boss not been made out of? And we said, crows. You guys are like charting new territory. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you, you don't even know. This is next gen, buddy. You tap him to separate. Oh, you, you missed it. Uh, you got blocked. So can you explain those bars on the bottom now? Sure, yeah. So there's, uh, there's a circle for every enemy uh, oh, that's see. in the room with you. And there, there's a, a yellow timer filling in that shows you when they're going to attack. 
And then in the center, there's like it shows their health. This bus has very little health left, so you can't really see it now. Uh, but it drains, it dra the circle in the center drains out of, uh, in red. All right, so now Chris is going to cut the, the boss up and he'll get a new piece of equipment for himself. Nice. So the helmet will give Chris the power to do the blind spell oh, awesome. that the boss was using against him. Cool. Is that a good place to wrap it up, you think? Yeah. yeah. So what do we got here? Freeing a... Yeah, it's got to free the body. <laughs> You're freeing children? Well, well, we're not saying who they are, but uh, yes. you're freeing people. Okay, so it's not <laughs> yeah. like Moonwalker? No. <laughs> yeah. That's nice. Yeah. A little Majora's Mask. <laughs> so Sever, we're planning on releasing Severed on PS Vita uh, sometime early next year, probably in the spring. Correct. So keep an eye out for it. <laughs>